Tell them I was being f***ing rude. She was real rude with her black ass. And she called me at home. She supposed to be at work. And y'all going viral, honey, on Facebook. You too. Fat bitch with no yeah, neck. Hey, sir, I need you to get out. So, yeah. And you call me a get sir. Out. I'm not a sir. I'm a ma'am. I'm no, a I sir. I'm a ma'am. Get out. I'm a ma'am. Can you get me out? I'm a ma'am. I'm a ma'am. You being rude. Okay. I'm a ma'am. I'm a ma'am. My ID say female. He's being yeah. rude. Know your pronouns. Know your pronouns. Know your pronouns. Know your pronouns. Know your pronouns, honey. Know your fucking pronouns. It's a world out here. It's a fucking world out here. Know your fucking pronouns. Stupid. Miss. Suck my yeah. dick like you said, man. Yeah. I'm hey. him. Hey. Suck my dick. Suck my dick like you said, man. Yeah. I'm oh. him. Hey. Suck my dick. Um, we at the, the American College of Pediatricians, and also I have many colleagues on the left, also insist that those solutions be rooted in, in reality, and transgender ideology is not. Just to license it. Random Radio Special Report. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Share this video if you like it. If you don't like it, share it anyway. Make sure that you guys comment. Leave some messages. Let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you guys check out all of our other YouTube content. The Random Radio Video Show. The Random Radio Weekend News. And the Random Radio Reaction Episodes. It's Maury and Steve Wilkos. Those are every week and up on our YouTube page right now. Make sure that you guys follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Everywhere that we have content. That's literally everywhere. All right. This week, I have a special report. This is this is a special report. It needs to be reported. Um, The transsexual community. You know what? Let me tell you people something. You're losing your fucking mind. You, th you think you own everything, don't you? You think that you reserve the right to do what you want to do whenever you want to do it. Act out of control and nobody can do anything. To I'm going to tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. The transsexual community keeps this up. There are no laws in the books yet for your asses. We're going to start whooping the fuck out of you people for being rude and ignorant in the streets. It's not going to have anything to do with you being trans. It's going to be because you niggas are ignorant as hell and rude. We're going to watch a transsexual go into a shoe store and lose it goddamn mind let's check this out fuck all that i'm right here at the wwss shoe store on desoto and sherman way and as i was walking out of the door with these pair of shoes in my hand i got my remote in my car and I'm this mother <laughs> this nigga here looks like a black a big oversized black cupid he <laughs> looks like the little cupid baby oversized how do you get a cupid face on a grown man woman thing? I was gonna turn my car on and the man had ran up to me and my face talking about he looking for his phone. He was thinking that I was gonna run out that motherfucking door right there with these ragged ass shoes for $29.99, which he got me fucked up. He looked at, he ran up in my face like he was gonna tackle me. And I had to let him know that he was, no, he was not going to tackle me because I'm a man just like him. And we can do whatever we need to do to get it all said and done with. I do not play. And a matter of fact, I'm not going to buy these motherfucking shoes at this goddamn store because I feel disrespected at this goddamn point. He going to run up at me in my face talking about he looking for a phone. And all up in my face like I was going to run out the door with these ragged ass shoes. Let me, where he go? You still want to fight, sir? Huh? I, I thought you wanted to fight. Don't tell him what the fuck you're doing. Tell him I don't want to fight nobody. You don't. I'm trying to get the phone. The phone's trying to do. You, your phone is up there. Babe. Your phone, there. your phone wasn't in my face. I walked right up here to this door. You ran up to my face, my talking about a phone. The phone is what I do. You, and do you, look, whenever you want to fight, I'm, I'm here to let, I'm here to let you know. Whenever you want to fight him, right here, gonna run up to my face. Whenever you ready to fight. I don't understand something. I'm missing something. The Hispanic man is clearly saying that he doesn't want to fight. The transsexual Cupid face person is saying that they do want to fight. He clearly is saying that the only reason why he stopped it was because of the phone. Now, maybe the Hispanic man thought that he had his phone, but 
He obviously didn't detain the man. He didn't kick him out the store. So problem was solved. Once the, once the phone fiasco was solved, it was over. Why is the transsexual egging the problem on? Why can't the transsexual just let the problem go? Why can't they just say, okay, it's cool, it's over, it's done. Why are they going back up to the man saying, do you want to fight with the cameras on? Now I'm starting to think, Art, let, 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 let me guess, the Hispanic man is racist, right? It can't be that the person who's suffering from a delusion of identity who is also taking drugs affecting their neurological system, no, it's not them. It's the clearly sane man. Yeah. I, I understand. The transsexual has done nothing wrong. I get it. And do all that. I fight, I cut, I shoot, I clown, and everything. Right there, he should be the police should be called. Right there, that is a die that is a threat. He just said, I cuss, I fights, I shoot. I shoot? We know blacks shoot people all the time. No, they don't. How about this? The search is intensifying tonight for the person who opened fire on several people outside a Northwest Baltimore convenience store. Six people are shot, two are killed. And WJZ has obtained surveillance video of the deadly encounter. Outside the Stop One convenience store in Northwest Baltimore, this surveillance video shows the victims with their backs turned to the corner, just moments before they're gunned down execution style. This person had an intent to kill. And but we're going to begin with brand new information in a deadly shooting at a Detroit gas station that was caught on camera, and it's what the shooters did after this deadly encounter that has shocked police today. After shooting the man, they left, but then a short time later, they came back and started shooting him again. Take a close look at your screen right here. We want to show you the images caught on surveillance of the suspect. Police say this woman shot a man early yesterday morning at a mobile on the west side. We're told she was one of four people inside of a blue Dodge Charger you see on the left. A pull up outside of a gas station on Finkel and Greenfield. And police tell us she got into an argument with some people inside that other car there, a Green Grand Prix. And then she grabbed a gun from under her skirt and started firing. As the driver tried to get away, he runs over another man who was on the ground there at the station and finally sped off. The driver came back to the scene before going to the hospital. The extent of his injuries are not known at this point. No word yet on the man who was hit by that car. The you niggas are crazy! Mm -hmm. That's just three Negroes killing people all the time. So tell me... Well, he should have called the police on this transsexual thug at this point. Now he's a thug. Should have called the police on him and said, Oh, you talking about shooting? I know niggas be shooting all the time. You go out there alone, boy, they're going to shoot your ass off. I'm a soldier, man. I've been trained for combat. We're going to have you arrested. I don't have to steal nothing from nobody. I work hard for my money. You ran up to my face. She up there, she can't get the phone. She right there. He right there, he can get the phone. You ran up to my face. I don't know where the phone was, but the phone was way up there. It ain't no phones right here. It ain't no place even for a phone right here. You ran up to my face. Phone, I've answered. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you ran up to my face no, actually, I when I was leaving the, the store and uh, talking about boy. in my face, like I'm gonna run up out this store and still saw my car is parked right there. I was turning the phone, the car on for my mom. Yeah. yeah. But just whenever you ready to fight, I'm just saying. Oh, so what I'm understanding is the phone was not even his a cell phone. It was a phone for the establishment. That the transsexual was leaving out of the store with? So then he was doing something in the wrong. He was trying to take the company's phone out of the store. Why is this person... Could, could it be that a person who was living a delusion, delusional self-identity issues is taking drugs that is affecting their neurological system that is making them do foolish things? No. 
just the Mexican man, because he's not trans. Because the trans community is normal, and all this the rest of us that are strange. I got it. Whenever he ready to fight, y'all know Jack Williams, my trans man from Transylvania. I will fight whenever you ready to fight and all that, and carry on with cut up, and your friends can fight too. I live across the street, by the way. Whenever y'all ready to fight, I'm right here. Run up in my face like I'm gonna get these shoes. You better be glad my mama, <laughs> did my mama want these shoes, cause I walked straight up out of here, home. But wait, I thought he just said this. I do not play. And a matter of fact, I'm not gonna buy these motherfucking shoes at this goddamn store. Cause I feel disrespected at this goddamn point. He gonna run up at me in my face. Tell me he looking for a phone. And all up in my face like I was gonna run out the door with these raggedy ass shoes. So he, he said he wasn't gonna buy these raggedy ass shoes. And now he's going back to the register to pay for said raggedy ass shoes. Could the problem be that there's a person in this video who suffers from a delusion of, I just want to just keep saying, I just want to make sure that we're clear that, you know, this could be the problem. There's a person who's shooting the video who suffers from a delusion of identity. They are also taking drugs to help support that delusion. Those drugs are affecting them neurologically. Could it be them? No, nah, it's the rest of us. I know it is. It's us. I will walk straight up out of here. You better be glad my mama wants these burgundy motherfucking shit. Deep, oh, go ahead, go ahead, baby. These burgundy motherfucking felines, because bitch, I would walk clean up out of here. All right. Oh, yeah, she tried them on back there. Okay. All these goddamn phones around him, he thought he was looking for a damn phone. They do keep it right there. He ain't no nigga. Well, why he run? He ran as soon as I look at the door yeah, with my. He all up my face. I know what he was trying to do. It ain't y'all came in no excuse for him. I know what I know. He thought I was going to walk out the store with these goddamn shoes and he run up in my motherfucking face like Captain Save a Hole, which he wasn't going to save nobody and which he wasn't going to tackle me and which he wasn't going to whoop my ass. Y'all would have seen y'all employee laying on the goddamn floor today. So, question. What were you doing with the box of shoes in your hands? Going towards the door, getting with the phone if you weren't leaving out in the first place. What the fuck was going on? What was he doing with the remote? He was turning all. He was turning the car on. But his mom is in the car. Opening the car. So okay, so the the car. Okay, so he went to the front to open the car. And then he came to the back to pay for it. Got it. But the man thought that he was leaving out and possibly stealing. Oh, it sounds like that Hispanic man was doing his job. Sounds like we need to get more Hispanics into America. Trump, I'm going to have to disagree with you on this one. Don't build the wall. Don't build it. Well, build a city for these people. Yes, Cupid head fucks. Build a city for Cupid head fucks. Strange people who have identity issues, so if that's trans people, whatever. That could be people who want to be sheep. People who want to be tables. I don't give a fuck. You should go over there and build a wall to keep them out because they are really the problem. Stupid people and ignorant people are ruining America, both of them. And that's on everything. I don't want that. I don't need one. I ain't coming back. I don't even come up in here. I go to 99 cents store in the other place. I don't even come up in here. Fuck, fuck this shit over here. I done got mad. Got real mad up in this motherfucker. Why everywhere I go, I have goddamn problems. Why everywhere I go, I have goddamn problems. Could it be? You're a person suffering from an identity disorder. And in order to reinforce those identity disorder delusions, you are taking drugs that are affecting your neurological system. Just, just a thought. Maybe that's why it's happening to you. Because of those factors. 
I'm just a single black transgender. No, I ain't single. But I'm just a single. No, I ain't single. I'm just a transgender in America. I'm putting this shit on YouTube. I, I'm just a transgender in America trying to make it. Shit. And the phone wasn't even, the, the phone wasn't even ringing. And if the phone was up here ringing, can't you answer? Can she answer two people up here? He in my face talking about a phone. Yeah. You better be glad Diane wants these shoes. Thank you so much. And whoever here want to fight, we can fight. I'm in the parking lot. But anyway, let me get my ass up out the store and a fool. I've been in the parking lot, ready to fight. Five. Four, three, two, one. You don't call me by my goddamn. They say you done start the shit all over again. Do a goddamn sir walk around the motherfucker in the world with a goddamn titties. You wouldn't know if I was a sir if I wouldn't have told you I was a goddamn sir. A sir don't walk around nowhere with no goddamn titties and ass on their back or anybody who want to be associated with a goddamn sir. Okay. You should have asked me my motherfucking name. Fuck you and the horse that you rode on, you funky, sour smelling motherfucker. I was gonna leave you the fuck alone. Now I'm gonna cause a goddamn scene, you son of a bitch. As a matter of fact, you gonna take these goddamn shoes back today because any goddamn Damn girl who comes up in here but after me with titties and ass on her motherfucking back will be respected and she will not be called a goddamn sir. Fuck you and your mama, your sister, your brother, your uncle, and your cousin, you bitch ass nigga. Fuck you. Take these shoes back, mama. Take these shoes back. I am so freaking mad. No, I am so freaking mad. I mean, you guys, you guys have officially made me lose my marbles. Wait a minute. At the beginning of this episode he said this because i'm a man just like him and we can do whatever we need to do to get it all said and done with because i'm a man just like him because i'm a man just like him now he's acting like this could it be just gonna ask a logical question just no hey, you guys feel free to answer in the comments section because maybe maybe it's not but could the problem here be this is a person who is delusional, uh, living a lifestyle that they believe is true because society has told them that their delusion is real. To cater to that delusion, maybe if I ask this question a different way, maybe it'll sound different. Maybe, you know, to cater to that delusion, they must go out and take hormones and other drugs that affect their neurological system. The neurological system is the brain, people. It's the part, you know, it's the, it's the brain and affects the brain. Could that be the problem here? I know. I know. I know it's not. It's Lorenzo Tomas and that that ignorant transphobic thinking that I'm doing. That was gonna leave you the fuck alone. Take these motherfuckers back. And bitch that walk up in here that calls herself of the LGBTQ community, trans or whatever, will not be disrespecting and call a goddamn sir. Take this shit back. You, first a motherfucker ran up in my face, thinking I'm stealing, talking about a phone, the phone up here, two people over here can answer the phone, one person back there can answer the goddamn phone, and this son of a bitch come up in my goddamn face like I'm stealing, I'm trying to do the remote to let my mom in the car. Then when I leave the motherfucker, he talking about you want to fight. Bitch, I'm in the parking lot. Then he gonna call me a goddamn sir to add injury to insult. Fuck you, bitch. The real part about this that is the most insulting is as a black man, woman, or transgender, he is by far being the stereotypical nigga. He is in here acting like a fucking fool. He is in here yelling like this. These are all Hispanic people around here. So if these Hispanic people take from this incident that this is how blacks act, are they wrong? How many blacks do you think walk up in here and act like this daily? Are they wrong? So this guy, girl, it, thing, whatever, being, object, gets to come in here, act like this, and it's okay. He's upset that someone called him sir. He's been causing a scene in here for about six minutes now, and he, it's okay. So when he was causing a scene before, 
Talking about he's ready to fight. Saying I'm a shoot. I, I shoot. They should have called the police on him then, right? I said it then. They should have called the police on his ass then. But they waited. They were patient with him. And he still, he, he could not wait for this. This is what he wanted, actually. This is actually what he wanted. He wanted this. He wanted to cause this scene. He wanted to not pay for these shoes. He wanted this here. He got it. He got it. That Mexican man said, have a good day, sir. That motherfucker flipped out. Now Cupid is angry. Go get on the goddamn banana boat and go where you came from, motherfucker. That's racist. <gasps> Did he just say something racist? Amazing. And if you want to fight, I'll be in the parking lot, bitch, bitch ass, puss ass hoe. Fuck you and these raggedy ass shoes up in here. The shoes have been raggedy for about six minutes. He still bought them at minute four. It's kind of interesting. I thought you were buying them for your mama. So apparently, see, see how selfish the transgender community is? It is more important that he makes this stance for LGBTQ than get these shoes for his motherfucking mama. Kiss my ass and suck my dick from the back, bitch. Kiss my ass and suck my dick from the back, bitch. And, and I, oh, that's really what this is all about. He really wants to have sex with that Mexican man. And Freud would say, that's what all this was about. He liked that Mexican man. He want to have sex with that Mexican man. He just told us why he having all these issues. He want to fuck that Mexican man. And when y'all ready to fight, any one of y'all ready to fight up in here, that worked up in here, I'm in the parking lot, bitch. And that's why he wants to fight. Because... When you can't have sex, you don't mind fighting because it's the same physical uh, 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 coming together, the same physicalness, the same exertion of energy. It is the same thing. It's skin to skin. It's body on body. It would make this homosexual feel good to put his body up against that banana boat, whatever he said. You know, you know, you, you people. Could it be? Could it be? That the real problem here is that we have a person who suffers from a delusion. They don't know who they are in their own identity. Taking drugs to be that identity. It is affecting their neurological system. Therefore, they are creating these problems around them. Yes, it is. go and still giving money to the yeah have a good day sir do y'all see that all right at the wws shoe wws shoes which is actually wss shoes but should we expect him to know how to read is since he's so ridiculous do y'all see that <laughs> talking about he wanna <laughs> Talk about he want to fight. Oh, girl, y'all don't play with me. Don't play with me. I see now I just made room for you hoes who want to come up in this goddamn store. Look at this person. Now, now, now you telling me that this person have a neurological system. They were just stark raving mad in the store. Now they're outside the store talking about how they giving money to the homeless and how they are and they're laughing and all of this and these, you know. I've asked that question about eight times in this episode. I think you guys know where I stand on this. Leave some messages in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I'm sure this will probably get taken down by YouTube because they'll say I'm, I'm exhibiting hate speech and it's transphobic. So while we have it up here, let's have fun. Yeah. Random Radio. You are listening to Random Radio.